All right, so we have a set is countable if there is what's called a one-to-one -one correspondence between A, the set, and the natural number. So that just means that we can list out the elements of set A. So just because a set is infinite doesn't mean it's not countable. So the natural numbers are countable because you can say one, two, three, four, five, and you can basically decide where to stop or just keep going. So is the set of even integers countable? What do the even integers look like? We have no lowest number. We have things like negative four, negative two, zero, two, four, da, 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 da. So is it countable? Well, by my informal definition, yes, because it is possible to make a list of every distinct element. So how is this going to, how do we define the one-to-one -one correspondence? Well, I am going to put the sets next to each other to kind of see how we can map this. Now, there is more than one answer as for the one-to-one -one correspondence. I'm just choosing kind of an obvious one. But I'm going to say that n goes to a, and I'm going to say 1 from the natural numbers goes to 0. So that means I'm saying 1 goes to 0. Then I'm going to say that 2 goes to negative 2. And then I'm going to say 3 goes to 2. So what I'm going to do is keep waddling back and forth so we can assign every natural number to one of the integers. So I'm going to keep going here. So there's 4. I'm going to put that in there, actually. Whoops. There's 4. And I wanted to make that purple. So I'm going to assign that to negative 4. So as you can see, 1 starts in the middle. 2 goes to the left. 2 and 3 goes to the right. 4 goes to the left, 5 goes to the right. So the idea is, with a one-to-one -one correspondence, if I give you an output value, you'll be able to determine which input value that is. So if the output value is, say, 10, what is the input? And oh boy, on the spot, here we go. So let's see, 1 goes to 0, 3 goes to 2, 5 goes to 4, so all the odd inputs go to even numbers. So that would mean, well, let's see, 7 goes to 6, 9 goes to 8, it would be 11. Okay, so that means 11 comma 10 is a point on this correspondence. If you wanted, say, your output to be 7, what would the input be? I'm sorry, there isn't going to be a 7 for an output. Let's say we wanted negative 8, in other words. Well, negative 8, as it turns out, would have been, well, let's see. So 2 goes to negative 2, 4 goes to negative 4. Oh, it looks like input 8 goes to negative 8. So there we go. So given an element in set A, we can always figure out the natural number that goes to it, which makes this countable.